okay so uh, there are three important investigations for the biliary tract first is mrcp second is ercp and third is ptc or percutaneous transhepatic cholangiogram okay so with these three investigations we can see the bile duct and we can decide what is the problem what problem is there inside the bile duct or we are going to get a cholangiogram image that is image of the bile duct so these three are the very important investigations this mrcp is stands for magnetic resonance cholangio pancreatography okay this is magnetic resonance ercp stands for endoscopic retrograde cholangio pancreatography and this ptc stands for percutaneous transhepatic cholangiogram okay this is not pancreatography here there is no pancreatography so we can get some idea regarding the pancreatic duct from mrcp ercp but not with ptc okay now what is happening in mrcp uh, patient is getting the mri done in the mri we are preparing the mrcp images these images are t2 weighted images okay and we are not using any contrast no contrast used so if we are not using any contrast so how we are able to see this bile duct as well as pancreatic duct and ampulla okay so there is a concept which i remember with the mnemonic of world war 2 that in t2 weighted images the water is white on t2 image okay so the concept is if there is a very fast moving uh, you can say fluid it there will be a signal void and if there is a slow moving or stagnant kind of a fluid there will be it will be seen as white on t2 weighted images okay so if fast moving fluid it will be black or there will be a signal void and slow moving fluid will be white so this bile and pancreatic juice is slow moving fluid and that is why they are white on uh, this mrcp and no contrast is required for mrcp so it is the investigation of choice to detect cbd stone cholidocal cyst biliary strictures and mri with mrcp is investigation of choice for cholangiocarcinoma okay so this is regarding mrcp what is the advantage of mrcp is that it is non invasive so the risk or complications associated with mrcp is very less okay on but the problem is we, if even if we can see the cbd stone we will not be able to remove so it is non invasive it is a diagnostic but not therapeutic diagnostic not therapeutic okay on the other hand in ercp what we are doing we are putting a scope inside that is a side viewing scope suppose uh, this is duodenum okay and suppose this is a bile duct this bile duct is here pancreatic duct is here ampulla is here okay now what we are doing 
we are coming with a side wing scope here and we are seeing this papilla from the papilla we are putting a small we are cutting the papilla a bit and then we are putting inside a guide wire as well as a catheter and then we are giving a dye and with this dye we will be able to see uh, we will be able to take a cholangiogram and then we will be able to see whether there is any uh, stone in the bile duct or any other problem and in case if there is any stone in the bile duct or in there is any mass we can take a biopsy or a breast cytology we can remove a stone at the same time so the advantage with ERCP is that it is both diagnostic as well as therapeutic it is diagnostic and therapeutic and it is gold standard investigation or the gold standard for CBD stones okay gold standard for CBD stone it can help us in uh, uh, putting stents uh, help in removing CBD stones putting biliary stents, dilatation of biliary structures, or it also helps in cholangitis by we can help uh, we can improve cholangitis by putting a biliary stent and we can drain pus or infected bile and we can drain jaundice also by putting a stent in cases of malignancy okay so this is the role of ERCP and in case if there is a very proximal uh, you can say there is a hilar cholangiocarcinoma or there is even proximal cholangiocarcinoma or a stricture and with the ERCP we are not able to put a stent or we are not able to negotiate the stricture then we can insert a needle here in the liver in the bile duct and then we can do a cholangiogram and with that cholangiogram we can uh, all we can see whether there is any stone in the intrahepatic bile duct or in the proximal bile duct we can remove that stone also and we, we can put a stent also so that is a PTC used for proximal stones proximal or intrahepatic stones and strictures okay this is regarding PTC now I have already shown you the MRCP image of cholidocal cyst this is the MRCP image of cholidocal cyst this is also the MRCP image of cholidocal cyst okay and there there is presence of uh, CBD stones or you can say the cystolithiasis in the MRCP now how this is what this is ERCP image okay this is ERCP image it is very easy to differentiate between ERCP and PTC okay because you will not be seeing pancreatic duct in PTC this is a PTC you will not be seeing pancreatic duct in PTC and also there will be no scope here you can see this structure mm. this structure so this structure is ERCP scope okay so this will not be visible in the PTC image okay so this is what investigation investigation is ERCP because there is a ERCP scope which is visible there is a guide wire which is going inside the CBD as well as inside the pancreatic duct and you can see here a small uh, the, uh, cystic filling defects here there is probably a CBD stone here okay and this is PTC there is no needle because after cholangiogram needle would have been removed and this is then a cholangiogram picture has been taken this is PTC this is how a PTC looks okay now suppose if there is a biliary obstruction in hilar cholangiocarcinoma or and patient is having jaundice we are not able to put a stent by ERCP then we can put us 
uh, external biliary drainage we can put a catheter inside the liver inside the bile duct and the bile will come outside okay will be draining outside through a catheter drainage so this is known as ptbd ptbd is percutaneous transhepatic biliary drainage okay this is basically external or external oblique internal drainage we can do both external as well as internal drainage through this tract external oblique intro external drainage okay it is generally used for the proximal strictures which are not manageable with ERCP. 